After the seminar yesterday, I felt Avery's intention was to try to destroy me because she was destroying me with words. Just pushed me to the edge. And now we are meant to be meeting my son, my ex-wife. And it's actually very frustrating to see her just sit there and not do anything. Avery, I'm going to leave right now. If you care, show me something. I'm trying. Try harder. Because I had to try hard, actually, to be able to find a solution sometimes when I'm uncomfortable. Try harder. Then let's I asked talk you, about it. I asked you what you want to do. But let's actually talk. Okay. What do you want to do? What I, do you mean, I, what do I want to do? Because I love you. Tell me that you love me. Ash, I love you. I want you to be here. I don't want you to go away. Voice it. You know what the first words were out of your mouth when you came to talk to me? You hurt me. No, you're heartless. Do you think that it's OK to approach people with you're heartless and then expect them to listen to you? OK. No matter how much he wants to say, I love you, I want to work through things, he was extremely worked up and childish when he walked in. And I don't want that at all in a partner. When I came in, I was very defensive with you, and I said something that I should not have said. And I do apologize for that. Thank you. But I really was hurt. So right now, I understand where you're coming from. And if you allow me, I will tell you about things that may be bothering me. And you tell me how you feel about me sharing that to you. OK. OK. If we want to make this work, we just we just very honest to each other. I'm trying to figure out a lot of things right now. Maybe I need to approach things differently. And I'm just hoping that we have constructive conversation. That's all I ask. Oh, I totally would like to do that too. Okay. Awesome. Cool.